and the continuation of Crusader Kings Week. We're playing CK3 all week this week, and possibly in the next week. We'll see how it goes, how people are vibing, how much fun we're having, and how much we've got to do. I uh, I really want to do a good push into CK3 here and see what we can do with our, our lovely little family of the Etikonin here, who are the precursors, the uh, ancestors of the Habsburgs. I'm just going to move my noggin here because I think the CK3 position that was a little stronger was something kind of a little bit more like this. Hello! Hope for a rainy week. Ah, rainy! Ah, it's so funny. Can we look at our realm for a moment? And there it is. Is that what you meant, John in here? Probably not. We'll take a look at the counties and things in just a moment. Let me have a sip of that bubbly club soda. Mmm. You're in between surgeries right now. Jeez, Peanut. Wow. Okay. I kind of... Doctor or patient? Because you can take it either way. Huh. <laughs> How's the weather here? It's been rainy last couple of days which hasn't been pleasant but there's like no snow here it's crazy like i i this has been a bizarre winter i did not get good money out of my snow plowing contract that's for sure yeah seven degrees not raining currently but windy as heck and yet above zero nuts <laughs> oh you're a surgical resident oh they're doctor okay well good okay Better than the alternative. I mean, if you were going through back-to-back -back surgeries on yourself and you were stopping by the stream partway through, you'd be like, all right. That's a whole thing. Scared us there for a second. I don't know. Maybe it's still scary. Shouldn't you be, like, reading one of your books or something? <laughs> Hang on, I'm going to move this over there. I was just noticing a little sliver of the green screen poking through. Everything to be, seems to be groovy. We can hire a physician. That's true. Actually, we do have a physician, I guess. We don't have a wet nurse. But we could take a look at that. Surgeons need mental, mental breaks. It's fine. Yeah, maybe there you go. So we are still playing as Count Hugh over here. Count Hugh pulled uh, with the Tress. For a while, we were the Impaler. We got a different nickname at some point. So that's better, I think. Uh, we are on our second wife. We had an event in the game that uh, sort of led to a divorce. So we got another wife. Uh, she is an Amazonian and is pregnant with her second child. Second child did not get the Amazonian trait, so we'll see how it goes. Um, but we do already have an heir, and in fact, a spare from our first wife. We've got Volpige over here, and Halko Mahuli, our second son. And then yes, we've got Selkra here, our daughter. This is our daughter with our second wife here, who is pregnant. Uh, ooh, hey, we're down to 19 for stewardship. Pretty sure we started the game at 20. Mm. It's probably, it's the assistance from Seth's number that has changed. That's what it is. This this spoof doesn't have quite as strong stats this way. But she's got the genes that are kind of interesting. Um, we've been doing a little bit of hunting. We've been to a uh, tournament. And uh, at some point we got the loyal trait, which is fine because our liege will like us more if we appear to be uh, loyal. Um, right, I think that's, uh, yeah, plus 15 that way, which is great. Talking of jousting, is Quill coming to the UK this year to watch another joust? That would be fun. That's what we did last year for the Tours and Tournaments Crusader Kings expansion. Paradox flew myself, as well as a number of other people, out to Blenheim Castle in the Ook, and we went to see a live jousting show and falconry show. It was awesome. What inheritance laws do you have? We have not messed around with that. Um, so the succession laws are still on Confederate partitioning over here. Uh, partitioning laws could potentially be an option but we french culture doesn't even have a hereditary rule innovation yet it's early days there's a lot of stuff we're not we don't have for example if we are to take a look at our holdings we did start at start as the count of lil over here the reason we started as the count of lil is because there is the barony of Aaron here however it is as yet undeveloped um we can't build anything there we're making money pretty well with our good stewardship but um we can't build any of these holdings because we don't have the the innovations i think no, yeah, we couldn't even build a castle because we don't have the Mott's innovation. Um, but we need city planning to construct a temple, which is going to be required in Lille. And we did wage war for the county of Boulogne here, uh, which weirdly has two temples. So the next thing it would be building, we'd have to build a city here. But again, without the city planning innovation, uh, we can't build that anyway. 
I think we might currently have some mercs hired up. Um, yeah, right over here. We have still have 17 months. But we currently don't have a war target. Before the stream started, I did go and throw my bishop back to fabricate a claim on Gynes over here. Uh, he's not very good, so I don't think we'll get a full count or full duchy claim. Although if we get one more county, we can probably usurp the duchy. That's something to consider. But yeah, if we look over here, there's no uh, there's no thing here telling us we can start a war. We have no CBs whatsoever. Um, but otherwise, yeah, things are going okay. It is early days, so we don't have a lot of building slots in our holdings. So we started with this Bastions and Curtain Wall, which is fine. We built a crop field over here for some extra taxes, which is okay. And then Boulogne, um, I think we started, I think when we, we took it, we, it started with both the Bastion and Curtain Walls and the small harbor which is fine. The harbor is going to be quite cool. Uh, French culture. We started off, I believe, as some sort of Germanic culture. I can't remember the name of ourselves, but we went and converted to French culture immediately because that's what the county stuff is over here. And I think the um, I think the vibes, they've got, you know, all the chivalry and stuff like that, which I kind of like the idea of leaning into that a little bit more. Swabian. Thank you. That's what we were. Yes, Swabian. Um, because our family here, like our brother... Ah, right here. Our brother, uh, who in reality, we, I think, kicked the bucket without without any heirs. So our brother inherited thing and continued the family line. Um, he's he's down over here. The uh, the um, Etikonen family were, yeah, basically over in this area. I don't know how long they really held on to uh, the county of Lille um, historically before it went somewhere else. But anyway, with that, we can probably unpause and keep things going. We're uh, sto banking up a little bit of money. Probably the thing we'll use it on is another group of mercs for when we go after, uh, what, I'm sure it's it's prob probably uh, Gin over here or something like that, but I'll just keep saying Gynes. Uh, we'll probably get some mercs for that because there's not really anything else for us to do. I can't remember in Lil, in our city holding. Okay, we could go and build something in the city holding, which wouldn't be the worst idea in the universe. Maybe we should get hospices before the plagues come over. A lot of people have been posting uh, fun screenshots of uh, of the Black Plague devastating Europe. But of course, a lot of those people are running with like the plague set to like fully random and like maximum plagues allowed because there's a lot of range in what can happen. Mm -hmm. We swabbed to a different culture. Hey, hey. Uh, peekaboo. I can hear it echoing down the corridor. Light giggles occasionally breaking out into full peals of laughter. As I round the corner, the couple are re revealed. Volpidge, who's my heir with with Judging by the discarded books strewn across the table, his studies very much abandoned, has his half-sister Selkor clutched in his arms. The baby burbles happily as Volpidge peeks through his fingers at her, and the two of them giggling happily. Oh, so cute! It's good to see they're spending time together, so Volpidge is going to get tight-knit. Uh, close family opinion plus 15 for 25 years. That's actually very, very handy. He's going to lose stress. I don't know if he's got stress, but I got stress. And we're going to lose some of them. Or we can say, Volpidge, remember to do your studies. Oh. Gives him a permanent plus one learning. Gives him some stress, but he probably... Can we see his stress? But I'm assuming he probably doesn't have any. Pardon me, the, the min maxi kind of vibe wants me to hit this for the permanent plus one learning a plus one's not the biggest deal in the world and to be honest depending on when we kick the button bucket and volpage takes over this tight knit might still be kind of relevant and it's kind of cute baby over books i feel like i feel like the more min maxi option is indeed two but i think i want to go one because it still has some min maxi benefits and it's just so nice it's just so nice. Our stress is 46. It's certainly manageable, but we'll appreciate burning a little bit off. And I just, I just really like this. So we'll do that. Who knows what plus one learning will mean to Volpidge later on. I mean, right now it represents a lot. There's a war going on over here. Uh, these fellows, and unfortunately, um, I pre okay. I'm not running the mod because it's technically not updated for the latest patch. I suspect this one would have been safe. Um, I normally run a mod that's called, I it's, can't remember what it's called. Um, it's on my, my gist hub for this. Um, like easier to see, easier, easy to see hostile armies is the mod I usually run, which changes the color. These are armies that are hostile. Like if I ran into them, we'd fight, 
but I'm not actually at war with them. The what people are at war with is red. This sort of rusty orange, I, in a vacuum, I often have a hard time spotting. So the mod, the easier to see hostile armies, turns this tag to yellow, which isn't used by anything. So why not, right? But anyway, so um, the, there are two wars going on. There's an independence war uh, versus my liege and a liberty war with my liege going on as well. So there's a lot of shenanigans. We're staying out of it. Although, as I say that, they, you know, they're, they're close to my territory. <gasps> as I wait outside, so my wife, as I mentioned, was pregnant. As I wait outside the birthing chamber, each minute feels like a lifetime. Judah's screams have ceased with no infant's cry re to replace it. With no infant's cry replace it. Yeah, so there's missing a word there. Something is wrong. I can feel it in my bones. The door opens. The midwife's wretched expression confirms all my fears. I'm so very sorry, my lord. Lady Judith, your son. They're both in heaven now. <sighs> I guess maybe it's a good thing we burned off a little extra stress. Oh, they both died. Maybe go back to the first one. Oh my god. Oh. I feel like she had a mor morning pen uh, period. Um, but out of curiosity. <laughs> I think we could remarry our first wife. <laughs> Who we liked. It was a bishop that made up accusations. Yeah, back to medieval ten Tinder. Is it this game or is it CK2 that had the event that was basically medieval Tinder where you're looking through portraits? Damn it. I'm really disappointed that 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 hurt. The fact that they both died. Um. We can do age difference. Oh, maximum age. If we're optimizing for fertility, let's say we limit it to 25 here. Wow, pretty and lustful. We would definitely make a lot of babies there. And then, oh yeah, if I also said, listen, I, I want an adult. Okay, there's not a lot of selections. Well, someone would make a lot of babies, you're right. May maybe they wouldn't all be mine. That's a good point. Tell you what, we'll go for, we'll just go for Tahira over here at the top of the list. Uh, I've got the beautiful trait. Sure. Ooh, 21 intrigue on Sybil. Hold on. You're right, what if we optimize for like, uh, some of all skills? It does put Sabia at the top here, Sibilla. Oxten culture, I actually really like this culture because this is the culture that has um, uh, gender equality. If we could somehow, can we somehow use her to bring that culture here? Or am I getting confused with the wrong ones? Is this the, the culture that's sort of between Spain and France over here that has gender equality? I might be wrong. You would be, these are a lot of stats. Basque. Ah, that's what I'm getting confused with. I don't, not even, it's not even close. Yeah, I'm getting confused with Basque culture, um, which is a great culture to use. I think, did we play a character uh, not that long ago somewhere around here that had Basque culture? I feel like we did too. Maybe we'll grab Sabia here. These are great stats. Interestingly enough, um, wait, which one was the one? Tw okay, 25 entry with Berta. Okay, so the Sabia and the Sibyl Sibyl, Sibyl here with the 21... I think we just go for total stats. We are going to lose. Oh, we're going to lose legitimacy. Hang on a sec. So we lose legitimacy and we lose the prestige. The prestige was there. The legitimacy. I mean, it makes sense. We're marrying a lowborn. I mean, if we switch this around to not care about the traits and instead highest rank. Didn't change the order. None of these people have rank? I thought I saw at least there's a dynasty here.
Weird. Buggy, close and reset. Maybe that's what the problem is. Because it certainly doesn't... Yeah, there's yeah, there's other people with ranks and stuff like that. We've got an alliance here with the city. You know what? I'm marrying this one. We're going We're going to go for, re for stats. Fine. Legitimacy loss. Oh, it actually dropped me all the way to the legitimate level. Okay, that is actually a brutal loss. Yeah, maybe because none of them have an actual title. I guess what I really... Yeah, maybe, it was, maybe I should have looked at something else. Illegitimate rule. Okay, that's actually... I didn't realize it would it would send me down levels. It just gave me a number rating. Stop marrying the commoners. Yeah, but, you know, they're hot. And they got the stats. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we should start a sway scheme with her, too. Just to get that rolling. Start that. Okay, Freeman's Fortunes. Who are you? Ellie... Eleanor, a free tenant renting some of my land in Boulogne, has pulled in an exceptional harvest this season due to her meticulous planning. Could we should we should have just married her? I bet she she didn't exist. I think I bet you she was just generated for this event. But she could probably stick around by joining our court. I should have married her. She wishes to use some of her profits to purchase a piece of my estate uh, from me so that she can build upon her success and grow more crops next year. So forget farming. A woman like her should be my court. I mean, seriously. Jeez. Or, if she can pay me in hard coin, the land is hers. I'll lose 20 control in Boulogne, but that'll come back eventually. Uh, gives us independent farmlands. Okay, which does limit the control growth, but gives us development. And gives me some hard cash immediately. But land in Boulogne is mine, mine alone. Increases control, but we gain some stress. So, if we have her join our court, what can we do with her? She wouldn't be a bad educator, because she would be getting a bonus to it because of intelligent, even though her learning is not as high. Yeah, we should have that period of mourning, as it turns out. Keep her as a backup. We could also consider seeing if there's um, any of... Uh, like, what if my steward is single? Maybe we could arrange a marriage. Your new wife might have an accent. All right, we'll bring her into the court, because she actually seems like someone very interesting. Generous, temperate, diligent. I mean, seriously, do you want a job? Like, any job. Just pick a job. Can... My core physician can have multiple roles, right? But why don't we put Eleanor in this role? So Isabeau does have more learning, but Eleanor does have intelligence. They're both considered good at this. Um, aptitude is 30 from the learning, 20 from intelligent. And this is just 50 from learning, so it comes out to exactly the same. Here, let's throw her in there. Now, my legitimacy should be going up over time, yes? One hopes. Is there no tick? Is there anything I can do to boost my legitimacy? Oh, went up from to 19 from 17, so it did by itself, too. Okay, and there might be some activities. I wonder if uh, holding a feast boosts my legitimacy. Exercise and mediation. When the raised voices reach me again, I quench my instinct to turn on my heel. The constant bickering of my vassal, Mayor Berard, and my court tutor. Okay, already we've got more drama llama with her. Um, when did they add these icons for these roles? I don't remember seeing them before. Like, in the UI here. Um, is enough to drive any man mad. Something must be done. I could either treat the situation as an exercise in mediation or eavesdrop and approach one of them with my sympathies afterwards. Try to make them see sense. So stewardship experience gained. Um, chances are we're going to fail, but it's not catastrophic if we do. And we have a decent chance to gain a bunch of prestige. Or we could side with one versus the other and get an opinion boost. Now, this is my mayor, and it might be convenient to have him like me more, but he likes me enough. You know, having Eleanor like me right now doesn't actually matter too much, but... The icons are on you? Okay. I think we're going to go with option one and hope we get the prestige. Nope, I'm a meddler. All right. Womp womp. But hey, we get a perk. 
Right, we picked golden obligations before, but now we're going to keep working on architect. Yeah, development growth in realm capital bonus. And overall, we'll just try to go ahead and finish this. So, can we put the mayor in a different role? Well, actually, okay, I could put him back as a steward. I mean, Baldur would be an every be even better steward, but hang on a sec, because the mayor is a powerful vassal, although how powerful is he really? We're going to swap him back over here. And then Bart, Bart doesn't matter as much. And yeah, we can put Eleanor in here as a spy. She's still only a 12, but she can fill this position. So I think I'm gonna, we did just upset her a little, but mostly she likes me. We might throw some sway her way as well. Right now, we'll still try to sway our new wife. Balgar, did you end up as... A, I think you're still in the queue, Balgar. I don't think we've named out anyone after you. It doesn't ring a bell. The finer points of diplomacy. So, today my son, Volpidge, was taught a lesson in vassal management by Eleanor. It was, man, she's getting a lot, of, uh, a lot of screen time for such a new character. It was quite a complicated course, and necess necessary, but perhaps a bit beyond Volpidge's grasp. I must let things take their time, Volpidge says. Only by being patient and letting my subjects work at their own pace may I ruse, rule wisely. Volpidge seems unaware that some subjects would willfully waste his time. So, he's got the patient trait, which is not a bad trait. Bonuses to learning, um, his liege will like him more, right? This this is not opinion of liege, this is the liege's opinion, right? Um, your resistance to hostile scheme, that's very useful. We could make him forgiving instead, which is a Catholic virtue. But, and it's, it's fine. If it wasn't, like, if it didn't generate stress for me, I might be willing to move from patient to forgiveness, but it's, it's kind of same, same. Or we can make him trusting which I don't think we're going to do that because that's not great. I think I'm happy with him staying patient. There's nothing wrong with being patient. Writers want to give him more screen time. Yeah. She's like uh, Suki in Avatar. She's supposed to be a one-off character and then the audience loved her so they had to find ways to write her into season two and three. Spoilers for a 20-year-old cartoon. A lesson in lucker. Ooh, my ward, Alice. So Alice is um, someone we're taking care of for someone else. Uh, just finished a lesson by Eleanor. Again, So maybe it's because we didn't have a court tutor and we like backed up on events for us. I bet you there's a tutor event cooldown internally. And because um, because none of them have happened, all, everyone who's currently getting educated is is ready to go for these. That's probably what's going on. Just finished a lesson held by Eleanor and the management of the treasury and the gold therein. Alice seems to be to have taken the lesson to heart with a reinforced sense of justice. She's constantly talking about how everyone from the highest count to the lowest page plays their part in the economy of the realm. We're definitely not interested in spending um, uh, stress to pick traits for someone who's not going to be sticking around. I mean, unless we want to set up some sort of booby trap or something like that, but no, it's fine. We can leave her be just. That's going to be okay. Uh, mercenary contract expiring. That's fine. I mean, it'll expire and then we'll get a claim. Then we'll have to hire someone again. But you know what? It's okay. We're banking money. It's fine. No worries. Hmm? Okay. Spoose up to the task. Some of my counselors believe the job is theirs by right of blood or influence alone. How wrong they are. I expect results, yet I'm often disappointed. After a long day, I'm complaining to Sabia, my new wife, when she interrupts me. Let me do something about it, husband. A few lessons might sharpen their wits. So these can give perks to our various uh, council members. Sometimes they appreciate it. I don't know what determines whether they're insulted or appreciative. I don't know if it has to do with their traits or if it's her traits or whatever. Um, or you can say, stay here with me instead. We could use an opinion boost with her wife. Lay theoretically will increase the chance of a pregnancy happening immediately. I think we go with not option four. Stay here with me instead. Yeah, time to procreate, make babies, develop our relationship. We're newly married. We could, we could, you know, we should spend some time together. Didn't marry her for hotness. Technically, we married her for her stats. She just also happens to be good looking, 
We married her for her stats, didn't we? Yeah, how old's the bishop here? 64, wow. It's a hard 64. Oh, he's infirm now, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, and his stats are down to a 7. See, I was going to say, because he, he used to be better, but he lost a ton of stats. Hopefully he kicks off soon and we replace him with someone better. For her stats. Mm -hmm. So, how old is Volpitch? 12. I mean, out of curiosity... Oh, we got our claim! Okay, we don't have enough money in the bank right now to get the mercs, but let's keep an eye on that. Um, reset to default. Inheritable traits. Um, maximum age, we still want to limit it to 25 here for him. He, I mean, he's 12, so that would be a pretty big difference as is. We could go for a betrothal. Usually I like to wait for adulthood. Marry him to Eleanor. Um, I mean, wouldn't be the worst thing, although by the time he comes of age, she'll be 29. The fertility uh, window is going to be lessened. I think we'll just wait for now. So if we were to declare this war, his allies, OK, he's got some pretty sizable allies, actually. Even with mercs, things would be a little dicey. If we can marry our kids off for some alliances, that would be good. But last time we checked, there wasn't a ton. Oh, we can do a hunt right now. I want to do a hunt. More falconry. Right there. Yeah, we could boost some men at arms, too. Uh, we do have level three spearmen. If anything, I'd probably would like to start a um, uh, a siege equipment thing for sieging, although that doesn't help us in battle. So I don't know. Maybe we should get an archer group or something like that. We'll see. Um, as we await the arrival of the rest of the guests, my servant started on the preparations. The gamekeeper checked the grassland each day for signs of quarry while establishing a camp closer to the hunting ground. My bird grows restless, waiting, knowing it will soon be unleashed. Pause, 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 pause. Um, recreation is fine. We've got a fair amount of stress, so we'll stay on that. Payen, your master of the hunt, summons the party to gather as the light reaches the camp in the flatlands near Hesden. With any luck, we'll find a flock of ducks and our hawks will have great sport. The beaters' teams are already with the hounds and a well-appointed spot has been selected. Let's get out there. So yeah, more prestige if we take a hare, but it decreases success chance. Do we think there's a difference between going between a duck and a pheasant? I mean, we tried ducks last time. It didn't really work out. Maybe we should try pheasants this time to switch it up. Is there is there an advantage to go one way or the other? You know, or do people have a preference? It's webbit season. Pheasant is close to peasant. Don't pay full price for your castle. Always ask for a viscount, a viscount, like a discount. Yeah. Incoming Pheasant Revolt. Tell you what, we'll try to hawk a pheasant this time, just to mix it up from last time. Need a big bird for a pheasant? Do you? My hawk seems to be getting quite agitated my wrist, tapping and pecking recklessly, re restlessly at me. No doubt the beast is eager to take this guys once again and bring me back a fresh kill. Right, so we saw this last time. I think I'm going to do it uh, the first option again. Hope it doesn't decrease our chance to hunt because what we're looking to do is we're looking to bring down as much stress as possible here. So we'll fly my hawk. Ah, success chance decreased. That's too bad. The noise of the others have faded as my master of the hunt, Payen, and I stock up the pheasant. We're almost within striking distance when Payen whispers, now that we're finally alone, there's something I have to tell you about Eleanor. What about her? So I say talk later, master of the hunt. I get prestige and success chance goes up. Or t what to tell me, success chance goes down and we spend some prestige. One or two. One we hunt, two we find out secret. They're both interesting. Half the time the secrets are pointless and other times 
they might be a big deal. One, two, 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 one, two, one, one, two, one, two, one, 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 two, one point five, two, two. Ooh, chat very divided. Might just be a weak hook. I would be pretty disappointed with that. I'm going to say talk later, master the hunt. I'm going to take the prestige and the success chance. Master Hunt Payan signals to the party to hush. We've arrived at the release spot set up by the Game Masters. We have to roll D20 for initiative. From our vantage point, actually, this is a long time ago. It's the year 880. I bet you were rolling D10s for initiative every round. Remember to add the speed modifier from your weapon or spell you're trying to cast. From our vantage point, we can see several speckled pheasants strutting about the leafy bushes ahead. The beaters will soon be in position, ready to spook the game to flight. The party halts as we prepare to remove our birds' hoods and set them one by one to their sport. Fly true, little one. Mm -hmm. What is that, Thacko? No, in uh, prior to third edition, well, and mostly I'm speaking of second edition AD&D, which is the version I had the most experience with, I did play... Um, the OG Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, but I have <laughs> limited memories of it. Um, in second edition D&D, you roll the D10 for your initiative every round, like, and every round. It wasn't the start of combat. And weapons had speed modifiers, and spells had speed modifiers for how quickly things went off. Yeah, it was a whole thing. No, there's your, yeah, that's for your bingo, the sneeze for the bingo card. The forest truly is the mantle of the poor, but as the pheasants flees in panic from foraging peasants, I feel my patience wearing thin. Surely there must be better things to do in Heslin today than picking roots and mushrooms. Oh, are the peasants scaring the birds? Drive this rabble out of my hunting ground. Rabble, rabble, rabble. Um, success chance increase. We gain prestige. Uh, peasants denied forest for 10 years. Minus 30 popular opinion. That's a pretty big popular opinion hit. We already have a minus 10 kick around over here from illegitimate rule. We could donate. Maybe we'll do that. Spend 15. We'll get piety. Success chance goes up. We get aided peasants. Pop opinion and development growth. All right. I'm going to go with generous donation on this one. Oh, the hunt failed again, didn't it? Dang it. No. Oh. Well, we'll leave there. But we did gain some more experience for the Falconer. And our stress is completely gone, so that's good. Someone I played in India with had D100, probably the worst dice I've ever encountered. Yep, I never, I didn't have a D100, uh, but I did play with a friend that had one. That shit rolls forever. And is really hard to read because you have to kind of look straight down on it to figure out which number is at the top. It's basically like rolling a golf ball. But somehow less convenient. How cool learned high German. Nice. The young mediator. So oh, you know what? We didn't actually um we didn't actually get as far as we know, or get didn't get our new wife pregnant despite that option. And I think it would have popped up by now. There was commotion among the children today. Volpidge, my heir, attempting to preach among his young fellow youngsters and became the target of a small fight. Alice intervened and managed to stop the fight before anyone got hurt. Okay, so this is a trait pick for Alice, who again is just someone that we are raising an award, so I'm not going to spend any stress picking her traits. You know, she became calm. She's calm. That's fine. Actually, calm, just, and content. What a great kid. Ah, I'm still trying to sway my new wife here. To make my wife, Countess Sabia, more susceptible to my attempts at approaching her, I can include a compliment in my next missive to her court. I'll be sure to mention her empathy and kind heart. What is she? She's diligent, honest, and cynical. Her relentless courage, her handsome appearance, I mean, is true. There's no denying that. We'll keep it short and professional. We will attempt uh, to compliment her appearance. Our recent correspondence has been a source of joy for me. I cannot help but think that we might both benefit from increased communication. All right. It worked. There was something about her, like, her strength of character. I think that would have been a good pick between her being diligent and honest, but it wasn't an option. Okay, popular figurehead. There. Okay, plus 50 popular opinion. Now we're rolling in the popular opinion, so that's good. 
We need this illegitimate ruler to go away. Oh, my wife's finally pregnant. Okay. An accusation of witchcraft. Bloodstained cloth. Cloth. Yeah. Crow's feathers. A strange smelling concoction. This is the evidence presented to me by a group of villagers from Boulogne as proof that... Hodierne has been practicing witchcraft in her hut on the outskirts of the village. The villagers claim her evil works must be the cause of their bad weather and are calling for her execution. Yeah, but what if she gives us a piece of her hair and we get plus one to a stat? The evidence is circumstantial. Release her. 300 stewardship lifestyle. Uh, we do upset the peasants for five years, but you know what? I think they can deal with it. She must burn for her crimes against God. I mean, she is a lunatic, but she is brilliant. Wow, she's the reason the hunts failed? Burn her? Uh, so she could be killed. We'd gain piety and satisfied peasants. Oh, wait, you say? I could use a new advisor. I mean, she's got crazy good stats. I think I want to go option one. It's not a witch. Oh, people want three? Dear, a woman is smart. She must be a witch, right? I mean, do we make her the court tutor? <laughs> yep, that's what Fat Peanut says. Make her the new court tutor. Um, She would be crazy good at it. Emphasis on the crazy, I guess? I don't know what the implications here are with the lunatic. We'd go negative uh, piety, but that's not really a big deal one way or another science I don't think I want I, I don't want a crazy person as a court physician that's for sure I kind of just want that that's a lot of lifestyle experience well I just want one I want the experience I'm sorry mm -hmm. These perks are pretty good how you doing there Eleanor all right you're all right We've got the sway. We're at plus 31. Yeah, the deceitful versus honest is losing some stuff. Cultural acceptance. We could do something to boost Oxten. Right, Oxten is, uh, I was going to say, yeah, the uh, the vulgar language of the, the French culture there. <clears throat> the boars of air. My master of the hunt, Payen, brings word of beast spot in my realm. I'm hearing much talk from the county of Lille and has said they're excellent prospects for hunting thereabouts with many a worthy boar seen roaming the grasslands. Interesting, or don't bother me with this. I'm going to say interesting. So we're going to gain game sighting for three years. Um, if our hunt cooldown comes up in time, that might pay off, but I don't know. Fire roars, drinks have been had, and Sibylla is calling out to me for a story. My first thought is of a frame, famous French folktale, a classic that never fails to delight. On the other hand, what if I told the story of my own life? Perhaps at the time my claim war against Hervé ended in victory. Traditional? Boost opinion, or my own story, also boosts opinion, and I gain prestige. So option one also increases the ability to grow a friendship with my wife. But both of them give the same opinion boost. What do we think? One or two? The traditional one, or a story about myself? Yeah, one might be better long term. If we can form friendship with, the, with our wife, that would actually be really handy. But it might be, it's probably redundant. We are going to try to, like, romance and make her our soulmate. And so I think there's probably a degree of, of redundancy there. So I'm going to go with option two. Nice to get a fame level. Yep, boars sighted. Unavailable for two years. <clears throat> mm. So we still have our claim over here. Hey, we've got a daughter! Yay! Okay, where's my name list? It is Sarge Dragonis. Welcome to the family, Sarge. So we're up to four kids. And perfectly balanced. Two boys, two girls. Did we lose a night? We were at seven of eight. Someone must have died. Hmm. Not really saving up the prestige for something necessarily, but gaining prestige improves our level of fame ultimately, so that's good. It's not the actual prestige we have saved, it's the 
as we're earning prestige. The Dark Cave. One of the children at court, Arnul, has taken the wooden warrior of a younger boy and thrown it into a nearby cave. My son was there and saw it all happen. Volpidge flew into a rage, a fit of rage, and beat Arnul bloody. This didn't help the younger boy, who started crying even more. Seems that Volpidge has trouble controlling his anger. He does indeed have wrathful. Now, that's not the worst trait from one of our leaders, necessarily. But what else could we get? Oh, you should have gone there yourself without fear. Brave. Brave is a really strong trait, although it does double your chance of dying in battle. But it's a pretty strong trait. Or you should have made Arnul get the toy back. Stubborn. Stubborn actually has uh, some benefits as your uh, for your own personal character. I think I like this. I would like my son to be brave. There we go. So he's temperate, patient, and brave. What a great little boy we've raised. Here be secrets. As I lean over to pick up a strip scripture to study, my son, Halcom Ahuli, barges through the door, interrupting my tranquil uh, solitude. Father, you won't believe what I found out about Countess, Countess Sabia. Okay, what is it? about Sabila that everyone just wants to spill the beans. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. The last time during the hunt, it was about, um, it was about Eleanor, my spy master, I think. Now it's about my wife. All right, well then speak. We learn a secret or, aha, secrets are currency, my dear boy. This will further his education, but I would gain stress because I'm deceitful. No, all right, tell me. Ah, uh, she's a non-believer. Believes in a false god or none at all. Okay. Um, I could blackmail her. Who cares? Maybe, maybe it'll come up and be relevant later. Where's the option to like, just do a quick little forgive and then get a relationship boost out of it, you know? She has a title atheist. Right, yeah, the rational atheist part over here, but... This just tells you how uh, the AI of this character acts. Okay, we can hunt. I mean, this is where all our money is going right now. Maybe we should save up for another Merc group. Suppose her divorce or marry the tutor. There's the boar. So, I guess we'd want to do an actual hunt as opposed to falconry. The problem, I was going to say, there's a boar sighting over here, but we recently hunted in air. So it's canceling out the boar. Oh, no, okay, it's the entire county has the boar holding. Okay, so we're not going to go here. Norm, air is, is better for hunting because there's no holding, so it gives plus one. But here we'd still get the net plus three. Well, the boar was in the county of Lil. You can see all three of these, boar sighting, boar sighting, boar sighting. The boar was in the entire county. Good. Gotta read, if I mouse over air, you can clearly see it. We go to Hesden, no boar. Here, boar. But yeah, I guess you can go here. All right. <clears throat> let's start the hunt and... Ooh, let's focus on Slay Beast. We're starting with 41% chance. As we await the arrival of the rest of the guests, my servants, yeah, get started, da 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 da. Those boars are close. I can feel it. Now, see, every time I think about wild boar and things, I think about Asterix and Obelisk, you know, oh, les sangliers, and they always look so delicious in the comic, right? Obelix would hold it up, it would just be dripping with sauce. Oh, it was, mmm. Looks so good. Mayor Baird, it's funny, from a certain angle, it looks like he's um, he's got headphones on. He's just like lo-fi beats to hunt to go hunting by. Mayor Barrett assembles the party as the sun rises over the camp in the flatlands near Lil. My men have been gathering sightings of the boar that roam the local area. The local gameskeepers have scoured the vicinity for recent tracks and fumes. They they is clearly they is clearly a stout boar in the area. They is dangerous but worthy game. Let's see if the rumors were true. Let's get out there. Seek the boar. Dangerous peril. Or I want to hunt something with vim. 
a wolf. No, man, let's go hunt this boar. Nothing bad has ever happened in history or literature to the king hunting boar. Ooh, rumors. You want to tell me a rumor about Eleanor, my spy master? No, listen, we're going to focus on this hunt. We're going to try to max out our success chance, buddy. Oh, my knight, Balder, is the first to spot its sharpened tusks. The powerful boar is hard to distinguish, but there's no doubt it's there, observing us through the tall grass. It locks eyes with me and, almost as though the animal senses my intent, suddenly takes off in a flash of brown fur. After it, we ride! So, this method is more perilous. We attempt to corner the boar. Success chance increases. An accident will be more likely to occur. We gain stress because we're calm. It's not our vibe. We're steady. Mind the bank. We'll attempt to corner the boar. Still makes it more perilous. Or this way, we head it off. We attempt to ambush the boar with a bow attack. So, huntsmen, bring it, bring it towards our bow line. Safety first. Avant. I really want to succeed. I'm going to go with one. You know what? If we kick the bucket, it's fine. We've raised a great son with Volpidge. We can take over as him. We suck at martial and prowess. Yeah. But I'm going to go with option one anyway. What could possibly go wrong? After hours of riding, we are finally cornering the wily beast. Our chase has not been in vain. The exhausted, panicked animal has turned to bay, struggling to stand and squealing in panic. The proud boar squeals terribly, sharpened tusks ready to cleave in twain any who approach, as it is surrounded by sheepish hounds and huntsmen. I will bring it down myself. 23% chance we die. And even if we don't, most of the time we're going to walk away with a wound. Spears forward, ready. Two on the left, two on the right. This one here, okay. There's a, a random participant could die. Although it's a much lower chance. Unleash the hounds. Dogs bring it down. Or they are savage. One was our intent. Is everyone voting for one? You know what? F it. Let's do it. No guts, no glory, right? This prowess challenge. Boy, if only we had some prowess. You know, we just got a perk. Could we do something crazy? Switch over to Marshall. Go chivalry focus and gain plus three prowess. I wonder if... um. Uh, our odds improved. All right. Here we go. <laughs> I mean, we tried. Ah, 19%. Count Hupald of Lil has abandoned his mortar coil at 42 years of age. He was gored on a boar's tusks. A keen and dedicated hunter, he loved to spend entire weeks in the wilderness looking for the most elusive game. Oh yeah, we lost one of our realms too to our brother. Count Volpidge ascends the throne. Having mastered many skills, he is sure to be admired by his subjects. Well... <clears throat> I've just been informed that Count Hoopold is dead. It seems he was Gordon Boar's tusk while hunting. As the new Count of Lil, there's much to organize in the wake of this unforeseen turn of events. Did we get an artifact? Count Bane? The head of a boar with razor sharp tusk, which killed Count Hoopold while hunting. Requested by his heir, Count Volpidge. It is masterfully preserved and attached to a beautifully carved maple mount. It's a dangerous pastime, or I want that beast head for my wall. Yep, we're going to spend 50 bucks and get this bad boy. Wow. Court artifacts. Oh, but we don't have a court. We have nowhere to display it. So we don't do we not get this benefit? Oh, man. Doesn't matter. We have to have it anyway. So. Right. We're 14. Our mother is our regent. Our stats are all single digits right now, but that will hopefully change when we finish our education level. Do we get a court when we become a duke? Also, 
Should we assassinate our brother? Alco? Um, we can wait until we come of age and our stats improve a little bit. I'm just saying. Oh, king or emperor for the court? A oh, Stuart. Um... Yeah, I think we'll assign the mayor. Again, we could get Oath on here with a 12. Would be better, but the mayor's powerful and he's cranky. So let's give him a position. Oh. Plague! French boils. Ugh. Oh, it's the measles! You're not betrothed. I know. We're gonna, we're gonna wait. Two wars. Oh! I can declare war on my brother right away. Mary Eleanor. French boil spread. Entrench Regency. Oh no! A walk through the county of Lille seems pleasant at first, but closer inspection reveals something deeply unpleasant. A plague has arrived in this once thriving metropolis, so it's the first time one of these plagues has actually reached us. The lumpy skin of diseased, of the diseased, is bright red and painful to the touch. They sweat even in the cold, and they have the look of a leper in their eyes. While numbers remain low, more and more of the population are beginning to demonstrate these symptoms. It's only a matter of time till it spreads further. Already, people are calling this affliction French boils. With this foulness happening on my own doorstep, preparations must be made if I wish to avoid the same fate as these wretches. I've survived worse, so we'd lose 50 legitimacy. And the legitimacy would drop from recognized to aspiring or summon the physician. Okay, so no, it's already happened. I have already lost some legitimacy. So we'll, yeah, we'll call in the physician and see what uh, Isabeau here has to say about things. Oh, well, she's not doing well. Damn. <clears throat> Am I sick? I'm not sick yet, right? The dim flickering light of Isabeau's infirmary illuminates the scene as the physician lays out a plan of attack. I have a number of observations regarding French boils, chiefly the way patients are besieged by red spots like I've never seen before. The plague does not appear to be too severe. It's my recommendation as a professional that we take a light approach to prevent the spread. After all, we do not wish to hurt the economy. Ultimately, man, this makes me think of all the conversations around like the early days of COVID, right? Uh, oh, we can't hurt the economy. <laughs> Some of you may die. But the economy will continue to do well. Ultimately, the exact strategy for preventing the spread of this plague is mine to take. Soft approach is best. Desperate measures are required. The best action is inaction. I guess we'll take the middle road here. A soft approach is best. We're certainly not going to do nothing. We could isolate the capital. We could enter seclusion. Early prevention success. It would seem that the moderate approach has proven successful with a slow and spread of disease symptoms among the commoners. Though the impact is quite minimal, it should at least grant more time to work on a more permanent solution. Wonderful. Mild epidemic prevention for five years, plague resistance plus five. Okay. What's someone think of the shareholders? Yes, yeah, so we're not going to enter seclusion. Isolate the capital. No, we're brave. We don't need to do that, right? Watch me lose another ruler immediately. I come of age, my region. No! 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 Itching. I wake up in the middle of the night and find my leg bleeding. My nails too. The itching is so strong, I can't stop myself from digging deeper. I sink my face in cold water, hoping it'll go away. My reflection, red eyes. My lord, that is the malady known as measles. Do no more necessary. It's too late for caution. Leave me be. I am brave. So part of me wants to say, listen, let's go crazy. 
The other part of me doesn't want to live the rest of my life with like a missing eyeball or something, but one or two. One reasonable corporate course of action Two, an aggressive course of action. Chat wants to. All right, two it is. Chat's never led me wrong. My father, on the other hand, too late for caution. Oh, oh shit. I can't believe chat actually led us to do something so crazy. Isabeau informed me she identified the tainted tissue, which was the root of my disease, and that removing it would most likely cure me. I was most pleased and agreed to the surgery. I wish Isabeau had warned me that the tissue was my face. The treatment was almost as unpleasant as my symptoms, yet it seems to have been effective. While I'm not fully cured, I feel much better. Dying, you are at death's doorstep. We're gonna lose a bunch of our counselors. Mother's died. Mm. Injured, a chance to breathe. I sit down on my bed and look at my hands, palms up. Finally, the rashes are gone. My skin is back to its normal color. It's almost strange to be able to breathe again without that intense itching. All right, well, we're now immune to measles. Go us. Oh my god, Isabeau died. Did she die of the measles? No, she died of old age. Five percent chance of blindness, but I seem to have dodged that. Child of my destiny, my quarter, Sibia. Hold on. I was gonna say it's my half brother. Never knew your father, but you will be known as Helivale. Did Sarge Shagonis die? Sarge Shagonis died of the measles. Oh my god. Look at the red shit all over the map here. <clears throat> Maybe it's good that we went with a crazy option. I can pardon my court physician. You know what? We'll grant the pardon. We need a good relationship with him. We can negotiate alliances. Um, I'm going to negotiate with our uncle. I'm not sure about negotiating with my brother. You know, it'd be great if he died with the, of the plague right now. That would be, that'd be perfect, you know? We have no money. Televale died. Bot treatment. Oh my god. Oh my god. Grandmother's measles, Chad left her deaf. I believe uh, the leading cause of deafness was uh, was the measles, either in childhood or uh, pregnant women getting pregnant. I think uh, their children could be born deaf. I think for a long time that was the leading cause of deafness. Jesus, just restart. It's pretty bad. It's gonna be fine. Don't worry about it. Everything's okay. It's fine. Unless we die and we just play as Halco. Alco's looking better and better, isn't he? Where's the uh, commit Sudoku button? And you claim it. Oh my god. You're brave, just go to war. Uh, if we had a little bit more money, I'm just worried about running out of money in the middle of the war. We're actually well set up to go attack my brother. Coming of age. I've achieved an understanding of diplomacy that far exceeds any of my peers. Even though I had a natural inclination towards the subject, my mastery of it is still an achievement. 
I must take my first step into adulthood as I take my first step in adulthood and find myself reminiscing about some of the people who have made an impact on the man I've become. The friendship I shared with Ervard, uh, or Everard, meant a lot to me when we were both young, and still having him by my side means a lot. I wonder if Fulbear removes, remembers the thing I put him through when we were young. So, is this a friend and a rival? Gain the trait, Charismatic Negotiator. You won't forget Fulbear anytime soon. Minus five opinion. Okay. Well, so we get a plus eight diplomacy, which is great, but the problem is we are horribly disfigured, which is giving us a penalty, uh, which is less than ideal. I mean, we'll probably do the diplomacy focus. I mean, maybe we'll go family hierarchy. Um, August, sway, prestige. Offer vassalization is not going to be relevant. Diplomats and guess. Able to use the Ducal Conquest CB. More languages. Unless we go in a completely different trait completely. Could learn a bunch of languages. Fabricate claims. Well, they yeah, had the bloody great wedding. Yeah, maybe we take Groom to Rule just so we can get up some better stats for our kids. Take family focus. We've got to counteract some of our um, fertility penalties. I kind of feel like we need to get married right away. And again, we might need to counteract some of our fertility penalties. What if we get married to Berta with the 25 intrigue, who is lustful and pretty? Right, we've got that. And then this intrigue bonus might be ideal. Berta's back. Everyone's a fan of Berta. My uncle, Duke Berengar, has honored me with a visit and has brought one of his courtiers along. Berengar approaches me. Well met. Pleases to uh, me to see that you're thriving here in Lil. It occurred to me that Aziza here might be of service in your court. She's an incredibly talented scholar. Brightest I've ever learned. I would make use of her myself, but it doesn't seem possible. I would hate to see her great talent go to waste. Won't you take her in and unleash her potential? Is this someone I would have wanted to marry? Ooh, incestuous. Maybe that's why he's got to get her out of here. I'm sorry, 39 learning? 39 learning. Yep. We're going to spend some prestige, but that's going to have to be okay. Marriage is a go. I guess these are potential negotiations, not people who will. <clears throat> We're definitely going to take the money for the wedding. Now that we've done that... <clears throat> if I were to declare war on my brother, I could call in this ally. I think we do this. <clears throat> oh, yes, let's end the Regency. Eleanor is also my spy master. I'm worried she's going to get upset with me if I replace her. But Aziz is just so much better. Cost me 200 prestige. I could. Do I need the prestige?